My father is a heart patient and I monitor his BP regularly with a manual Spigma manometer. But I was looking for a small portable digital device. So I purchased a digital BP monitor machine from MedTech. In this video, I'm going to unbox and test this BP monitor machine from MedTech. And not just that, I will also compare the result with a manual BP machine. So stick to the end of the video. Let's begin. So this is the package. Very neatly packed. It was sent via delivery courier and it took just a couple of days to reach my place. So let's open it. We have nothing else inside this wrapper. Let me remove the bubble wrap. Medtech Caring for Life. This is the model name Novacek BP12. Comes with backlighting. Here we have some features of the machine. Comes with a pretty large display with backlighting. The cup size is 22 to 42 cm, which is more than sufficient. USB Type-C cable is included, I'll talk about this later. And we have a zip bag. And the great thing is, it comes with 2 years of warranty to give you peace of mind. We have nothing mentionable on this side. On this side, we have a QR code which will lead you to their product catalog. I'll share the link of their website in the video description. Here are the specifications of the monitor. It can measure up to 229mm of mercury and it can take pulse reading from 40 to 180 beats per minute with 5% tolerance. This is more than sufficient. 4 AA batteries are required to power this. Or you can directly power it using the USB cable provided. I'll show you later. And here are the instructions printed regarding how to use the cuff. No worries, I'll give you a demo. Let's check the other side. The MRP printed here is Rs. 2060 but you can get it at 17 to 1800 from Amazon or Flipkart very easily. When it comes to medical equipments, Medtech is a very popular company. Especially their nebulizer devices are very popular in India. The main reason is obviously their product quality and great after sales service. If you have any issues with the product, you just have to scan this QR code and fill out a form. They'll pick up the product, repair it and will send it back to you. It's as simple as that. Ok, enough about the box, let's open it. This is the catalog of their products. And we have the user manual and the warranty card here. And this is a bag so that you can carry it easily. I would say the quality of the bag is decent. You can hold it like this. This is a type C cable, 4 AA batteries and the main device. Let's check the cuff quality. Seems that the quality is good. Very firm velcro strap. This is the tube. It's soft and made of good quality rubber. Hopefully this will last long. And finally here we have the BP machine. Tactile buttons. Premium build quality. And we have a Type-C USB port here. Let's check the cable quality. Really this is a good quality USB cable. I think this won't break anytime soon. Honestly I didn't expect this. Very premium quality. Now I'm gonna turn it on. Let me open this battery compartment. 
It requires four 1.5 volt AA batteries. And the best thing is you don't have to buy it separately. The battery is also included in the package. Let me install the batteries. You can see 2021 is flashing on the LCD. It means the monitor is in the setting mode. This happens on the first boot. And in the first time if the device doesn't go into the settings mode, you can press this set button for 3 seconds to enter into the setting mode. And this 2021 will flash and indicate it's in the setting mode. In this mode you can set the month and time using the memory button. Also this device comes with two user modes. You can switch between user modes by pressing the set button briefly. Like this. You can also change the unit from millimeters of mercury to kilopascal using the M button. Alright, let's test the device and check the accuracy. So I'm gonna attach the tube here. Make sure it's firmly connected. I think I'm good. So here's my friend Sujal. He'll help me with this demo. So sit in a comfortable chair with your back supported. Put both of your feet flat on the ground just like him. Rest your arm at chest height. Now I'm gonna attach the cuff. The cuff position should be just above your elbow. Make sure the blood pressure cuff is snug but not too tight. And another thing, the cuff should be against your bare screen, not over clothing. Okay, we are good to go. Please do not talk while your blood pressure is being measured. Now I'll start the device. Currently it is monitoring his BP and pulse rate. This is the oscillometric method. The cuff will first be inflated and then deflated while the pressure inside the cuff is being measured. This is a very interesting method. Oscillation amplitude versus cuff pressure function can be represented using a parametric model, which is really fun. But you know, it's beyond the scope of this video. Hopefully someday I'll make a video about this. Anyway, and the process is done. The reading is 113 over 65. The first number is called systolic blood pressure, measures the pressure in your arteries when your heart beats. And the second number called diastolic pressure, measures the pressure in your arteries when your heart rests between beats. And his pulse rate is 65. Seems that our friend's heart is doing a good job for him. For your reference, here's a chart. And obviously the value can be changed due to many factors like continent, food habit, climate, etc. So it's better to consult a doctor for that. Let me stop the machine. Now I'll test the accuracy of this machine. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna test his baby manually with a Spigmo manometer and compare with our previous result. Okay, this is my trusted manual machine which I've been using for a quite a long time. So I'm gonna test his BP again with this manual machine. By the way, you should keep 15 to 20 minutes gap between measurements to get accurate result. Okay, the manual reading is 115 by 65. So this is the comparison chart. You can see this Matic automatic BP machine is quite accurate. Frankly, I'm impressed because normally the accuracy of automatic BP machines are not so good. But this one seems pretty accurate. Oh, I forgot to show you one more thing. I think this is the main USB of this device. That is, you can use this device without any batteries. Let me remove them. Now I'll attach this USB Type-C cable to an AC power adapter. Make sure to use a normal adapter and no fast chargers which may damage the device. Now I'll connect the Type-C in to this machine's Type-C port. Then we connect it to a power source. You can see it's working directly from AC power source. This is a great feature. I mean it's not possible to always carry batteries. So in that case, this feature will come handy. Alright, I'm at the end of this review. Let's wrap it up. 
I think this MedTech BP monitor is a great device. It's portable, it's lightweight and easy to use. And the best feature is the USB power support. It's a really great addition. Normally you don't get this feature at this price point. The price is quite affordable. So if you're looking for a good quality automatic BP monitor, I think you can go for it. I'll put the link in the description. And before ending, I would like to request you to please subscribe to my channel. It really helps. So guys, like this video, share it and do subscribe. Thank you.